Our county line since 1920 is drawn across the Currituck Sound. So to get to our nearest, or pre-2012, our nearest public school, you had to drive through Dare County, over a bridge, back into Currituck County, and then back up for a good long while to get to that first public school. Public schools these days don't send a van for kids anymore. They won't send a car with a driver. They have to send a full-size bus now. So even if they were only gonna pick up five kids here, they had to send the full-size bus. Schools don't have enough money to be providing a full-size bus just for these five kids or however many it might have been in a year. So those kids were just happened to be the first to be picked up. Then they drove for 45 minutes to the mainland and then they started that bus route. And then they got to school, but even if they got a little early, if they got there at 8.30, they weren't allowed off the bus until school started at nine. So you start at 6.30 and you could get off the bus for school at nine. A five-year-old who was gonna have to be on that. I said, we're not, that's not our plan. We started off with 19 this year, but two families moved, which always happens. Uh, although, because we're judged on the same percentage rate, even if we lose one student a year, we look like a school that has a big attrition rate. Doesn't matter, we, don't, we can't worry about those things. Next year, we actually have 26. Next year's our fourth year, and the word is out that we exist. And even students from Dare County, parents of students from Dare County think, I'd like something either smaller or more personal. And so we have, I think of 26 kids, 10 of them coming from Dare County next year. Uh, because we're a charter school, we don't discriminate on county lines, right? Any North Carolina student can come to our school.